Hey guys and welcome to Snow Gaming Videos, it's Icewalker here and I'm going to be showing you another tutorial today but this is a really important tutorial because I know that a lot of people have got the same problem with this but the thing is people are giving not the right fixes for this problem as you guys know that when I find a fix and it does work I do show it out as fast as possible so you guys can get fixed and carry on what you guys are doing really enjoy your lives really so yeah this fix is for the HTTP VR um, HTTP VR 2 gaming edition that I'm using it should work for 2 and any other HTTP, uh, HTTP VR model as well and this will allow you to hook up OBS which is open broadcast software which is free to download the link will be in the, in the description below and Hapachu um, Hapachu Capture Hapachu Capture is the HTTP VR 2's um, HTTP VR's um, recording software which allows you to record Xbox or console gameplay and PC gameplay onto your capture device which is HTTP VR and you can send it the actual feed straight to the PC into storage so it's like it's like a recording device that does no performance to your PC so you don't literally lose anything it just uses your hard drive just a little bit so um, a lot of there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube and loads of websites and even um, github of how to fix this problem because I know that the HTTP VR um, Apache capture software has a three to four second delay and when hooking up OBS it's really hard because some people know how to do like the mics and stuff but they notice that they don't do the whole fix they do maybe half the fix and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the full fix today so as you can see I have OBS here and I have the battery capture software mine is pretty big right now because I just finished doing a live stream and I I do use the HTTP VR software so that I don't lose any it's like, it's like doing window uh, window capture on a PC which is actually copying gameplay it's pretty cool so this is how you do it you have to use OBS you can use any version 64 bit or 32 bit and you need a battery capture as you can see I'm recording it currently on it right now so what you need to do, you click on new, you need to add a new scene. I just name one YouTube, so random one. You could just remove it. For example, you just right click here and do. I name my one randomly YouTube for this tutorial. You go to sources. If I could pre-preview the stream, you see there's nothing on because I'm not previewing anything. I'm not sending any files anywhere or anything. What I do, go to sources and I click add, and you click window capture. Name it anything you want. I name HDPVR. Because I know what it is, and then have the window for the Hibachi capture software, which is this. I would recommend you take off, you disable capture mouse cursor because you probably have a duplicate. You probably have one mouse here and another one here, and it will just look really weird. So I personally, I'll I'll recommend you disabling this. Um, next, you need to do subregion. You click this button here, and you click this. What this will do is a little limit how much what you actually see. For example, if I leave subregion on, I click OK pre the stream this is what you see that's everything you see so when you record and everything this is actually what we record if you stream this is what's really if you stream and you do not want this to be honest it just doesn't look good not in a sense that it doesn't look it really doesn't good it looks good for doing tweaks and stuff but for recording this is just not what you need you just need that your image itself so what I recommend you doing is you go back into properties of the HTTP VR2 which is the source for window capture Click the sub region here and click select region. What I like to do is I like to drag from here to a very small, put it in the middle, drag it to where I want to start. I always leave a little bit of a gap so it, you don't lose anything because you don't want any of the other, you don't want the outside sides of it, any of it. So just about there. I think that's good enough. And I will drag all the way to here. I'm just going to make it doing the same raw applies. Just don't want to capture any of the outside. So just enough. Right, let's just do a bit like this. There we go. Up. That's okay. And now press enter. And then you've got the new coordinate system in here. Click OK. And OBS will now only be picking up this part here. So now we can do you can now scale it to however you want. So for example, like this. Now you've got the whole game recorder. So if you're recording a game, it will look like that and so forth and so forth. So that's how you you can actually hook up the actual visuals of the HTTP VR capture software. But another problem is the reason why the main reason I'm doing this video is because of the audio. The audio is a massive problem for HTTP VR because the audio is always out of sync if you're using OBS. Because what people show you, they show you how to do what I've just done, but they don't show you 
how to actually sync the audio over because the audio they do teach you to sync is the microphone which I'm going to quickly show you now but the audio I'm talking about is the game sounds for example I did a, I did a little video on using um, playing um, I can't pronounce the name Parishion Act, um, Active something like that it's an indie game and I was trying this out myself and I was thinking why is my audio always out of sync then I read it properly and it says microphone so I was thinking, okay, so that's me. If I was talking now, then yes, it will sync me up. But if anything else, it's still me out of sync. So for example, I was using a shotgun and I was saying shooting against the wall so I can get the collision effect, and it was the audio was way out of sync. So I know now know how to fix that. What well, I don't know why people don't show you in the tutorials because it's main really needed, but they just don't do it. So what you got to do is this: you have to click settings, you go to your audio. And you need to make your microphone sync offset in milliseconds right here to 2000. That being 2000 will resync your microphone audio to your actual gameplay audio. So the gameplay, as in when you're playing your games, when you're talking in a certain time in the game, it will actually pick up at that specific point so that when you actually finish recording or you're streaming it, it's in perfect sync. So leaving at 2000 seems to app for me is absolutely perfect. Next, what people don't show you is you need to go to the advanced tab. Once you're in the advanced tab, at the bottom it says global audio sync offset in milliseconds. This is the audio I'm talking about. This is the game sounds, any explosion effect, anything that comes through speakers. That's the sound that needs, that's that audio offset sounds. That also needs to be 2000. If you have that at zero, as you probably would have guessed, your audio will your um, your audio will be way out of sync. It will be 2000 milliseconds out of sync. Putting this at 2000 makes it absolutely perfect. So just remember, it will still be zero when you start off. Just make it 2000. Make audio settings 2000 as well. Click apply. Click OK, and you're good to go. The last thing I'm going to show you now is the camera. Um, I'm going to use um, what you use in OBS. Um, you will use the video capture device because it's a video. You can use another software or anything you want. Two things I do because I actually use, I don't use a normal camera. I use a PlayStation 3 eye camera because I like the fact that it's, it's not 1080p, 720p. It's very low, but it's 70, uh, 75 frames per second. That's the reason why I use it. It's really good frames. So what you do is you click video capture device name whatever you want, I'll name it camera and then here you get all your things because I'm using 64 bit I can't use the camera in this because my OBS is 64 bit but that is okay for what I'm doing because what you would usually do you pick device here you pick the device for example just pretending this was the camera you say it was HD PVR uh, no say it was um, PlayStation 3 i here you would go down to here use bathroom and you can make this 2000 so that your camera is now in sync too. Some people do suggest you do 1700, but personally, why out sync the camera if everything else is going to be in a different sync anyway? So I'll leave it at 2000 as well. So that's how you'll do it. In my sense, I have another software that I use. I have for my camera, I have, let me just quickly adjust my camera. Sorry, guys. I have the CLI test software, which is the camera drivers for the actual PC. And what I would actually do is I would have this software on at the same time the same way i have the hdp vr capture software on i'm having the background i have this on the background and i'll do it the same way i'm doing with hdp vr i would click add i will click window capture i will name it camera and i'll sync it to the window which is seal eye test which is this camera here i'll get ready counts um the capture mask cursor as well and as you can see now in obs if i make it bigger my camera is now if I can move it wherever I want. So for example, I can have it here. What I like to do, I like to hold um hold alt to get rid of the bottom bit and I could scale it to whatever I want. So for example, I'll have it maybe here when I do another recording or live stream and it'd be fine. Perfectly fine. And you can play games like this, do anything you want, and everything will look absolutely perfect. But one thing I'm gonna show you guys that you need to always remember when you're using any window capture on OBS. Do not minimize minimizing freezes the actual thing that you're recording for example having this on as you can see it's moving i think if i was to minimize as you can see in obs my camera on the right has stopped completely frozen 
So now if I was to you know, get it back up, you can see it's moving again. Same thing for the HTTP VR cartridge software. If I was to minimize it, it freezes. And if I was to bring it back, it carries on. It's exactly the same thing and it always will. Like, it's just the way it, pic it pictures it up this way. When you minimize it, you pretty much say into the process, I temporarily don't want to use you anymore. So stop what you're doing. And that's exactly what's happened to it. So stop capturing and stop that too. So guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope you guys, it should help you because I know a lot of people need help with this problem because I, I needed help with it myself and I'm really happy to have got it to work. This helps very well if you've got streaming PCs or even dedicated PCs like I do. So guys, don't forget to like because it really helps. It gets people to see my tutorials and it helps them well out and everybody's happy with that. And guys, don't forget to like, as I said, don't forget to comment. I read your comments all the time. I get them sent to my phone and I answer my ASAP as soon as I got them. And don't forget to subscribe for new tutorials. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.